All right, guys, so today is the day I do a test run. I got a little impatient, and I really want to see how it works, but uh, I'm still going to use my old crappy, really weak blower. Um, and uh, I know that's too weak because I've messed with small engines a lot before, and when I feel the suction on the where this where the blower sucks in, and I compare it to just my knowledge of uh, like a six horsepower engine, the suction is probably, I don't know, a third as much. So it's not going to be a completely accurate test run, but I think today we'll s still find out if I can even produce burnable gas, hopefully. Uh, this is not my completed, my, it's not my completed system at all. I mean, still the ends of this are taped up with plastic and everything, and my filter isn't even the filter I'm going to use. The blower is not the blower I'm going to use, and the shaker grate in there is still an, is still an aluminum uh, pot, not a stainless steel pot. So, with all those, uh, I guess, um, I don't know what to call them. Not really setbacks, but with all, with all that said, we're still going to find out if I can make some burnable gas. So, what I'm going to do first is use, I'm going to start it out with some biochar from... It's probably the smaller pieces of this biochar from my old gasifier, the one in the how not to build a gasifier videos that I have. And then I'm going to use some of this osage orange, these little osage orange chunks, which I chopped up for the smaller um, reduction zone with an axe because I still live in the Stone Age here. And. That's, uh, by the way, that's the hottest burning wood in the world, I believe, anyway. It's the hottest burning wood in North America, anyway. And uh, I can insert a BTU chart to show, to show you. So hopefully that'll produce the heat I need. And hopefully my hearth zone is cured, so it won't crack any of the plaster and anything in there if it's not. But uh, I guess we're going to find out. And I'm going to put the biochar in, drop a lip paper towel on top of there with the blower on, and then I'll get back to you when I'm producing a little smoke. All right, see you then. All right, guys, looking down inside the gasifier right now, and I just saw something right before I pulled my camera out. But it's going down in there, though. I can hear the and see that the biochar is lit. But uh, what I saw was some good news. Uh, my when I lit the paper and dropped it in there, the flame was getting sucked down instead of going up. And it sounds like it's really starting to go now. In fact, I can hear the air getting sucked through there really good. Oh yeah. I'm sure you can hear that too. The air is getting sucked through that biochar. It's lighting up really nicely now. Okay, so I'm going to drop some of my smaller chunks in there and get back to you. Alright guys, it's been running for about two minutes. I have the rest, not the rest, but some wood down in there. And I've already got some bad news, sadly. Close that up so I can start going because I'm pretty sure it's already it's already uh, ready to go. But got some bad news. A minute ago I saw smoke rolling out of down here. That's not good. That means I got some some sort of uh, there's some smoke right there. I don't know if you can see it really lightly. It means I got some holes in the bottom of my barrel or something. That's going to be fun to fix. So, uh, yep. I'm just going to see how this goes, I guess. Gonna feel this pipe. Oh, that pipe is already hot. Pipe is really hot. Okay, so, uh, I guess I'll come over here and see my gas output and see how if it's hot or anything. Yeah. It's like uh, air temperature actually, but I'm sure it'll get hotter as that goes on. Feel up my radiator, feel if it's hot. It's warm actually. It's a little bit warm. Feel that. That's a little bit warm. Okay, so. I'll get to you when I try to light this gas off. There it is coming out right there. Alright guys, so as you can see the blower is producing a lot of smoke right there, and I think it is mostly smoke because I have the top of that open for 
kind of like a downdraft mode instead of an invert style mode. Downdraft just means that the air is coming in from the top instead of through that little air nozzle that I have. Um, I would do that because I'm doing that because um, after I tried to do my burn off, I had my fire go out. Literally went out. There was no smoke or anything coming from the blower, and I was like, "What the heck?" So I looked down in there. Fire was out, and it was because the pieces, even though I chopped them up to be real small, they were still too big and bridged up and weren't getting any air to them. So they, so the fire went out. Um, so now I'm trying to burn those out, put some small stuff on top of them, and lit it from the top. I'm just going to try to burn them out, running in downdraft mode, trying to burn out the crud, trying to burn out those bridged materials, and it's burning really well. I might uh, shut this door up here and see if I can get some sink gas. Alright guys, my torch is running out of propane, but the gas is burning now, and it did stay lit once when I tried it. This is after I had the bridging issue and I relit it, but I can hear it and I can see the smoke disappearing. And one time I got it to stay, oh, it stayed lit for a second there, but as you can see it's burning right now and there's crud dropping out. There's, uh, nope. It's burning right now. No, it's not. I got it to stay lit for about five seconds once. I don't know what what happened. Maybe it was just a good spot. The wood is right in the hopper and everything. But all right, that's that's that makes me happy. Right there is a it's burning completely. So I'm gonna end this test run. Call it mildly successful. Fix my problems. All right, so this is after it's been burning for probably about 20 minutes. You can see it down in there. That wood is all the way on the bottom of the grate. There is no wood left up inside the hopper. Just a little bit down in there. I'm going to let it burn out. Actually, I'll just leave it down there. And I'm going to end this test run right now. Thanks for watching. I learned a lot of things from it. And uh, I guess comment, rate, subscribe. In the next video, we'll have a good blower, leak fixed, and maybe a better air filter and radiator system. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, as always, and uh, have a good day.